Today's project is going to be replacing the fan slash alternator belt as well as the air conditioning belt on this CAT 305.5E uh, mini excavator. The reason we're doing this is to solve an overheating condition. This machine has about 1,200 hours on it. And the symptom was that after about an hour of running the machine, uh, the entire system was getting heat soaked and overheating. And uh, he was having to shut down and let the machine cool. Uh, we checked things like coolant pressure. Uh, the coolant system was holding pressure. He wasn't losing any coolant. Um, and he had already been cleaning out the radiator regularly with compressed air and hosing it out to make sure that the heat exchanger was good. So we got looking a little bit deeper and uh, the fan belt is ruined. Uh, it's, it's really worn down. It doesn't have almost any tension at all in the pulleys anymore. And because you have to take the air conditioning belt off in order to get the fan belt off, we're just gonna replace both of them at the same time. In this time. back engine compartment, this is what you're looking at. Your belts are kind of buried in here a little bit. Um, just gonna get you a good shot here. It's a little challenging with the light and uh, the camera angle here. So, that is the tensioner above there uh, with that bolt that's going uh, rear to forward, which is right above the alternator. That's the tensioner we're gonna need to use to release tension on that fan alternator belt. So if I can reach in here, I can show you how much slack there is on this belt right now at 1200 hours. Okay, it's very sloppy, way too much deflection just because the belt is totally worn out. Okay, so in order to access that part of the tensioner, we have to remove this panel here. Okay, and we're gonna remove that with three 13 mil head bolts. And I'm expecting to be able to take this whole panel off and just set it to the side. This is, of course, the washer fluid reservoir. I'm gonna try and just let this hang off to the side. That'll give us access to that tensioner. Now, there's another tensioner you won't be able to see yet <clears throat> until we take this panel off down here. Okay, so you need to take off this belly pan. That is five bolts that are 16 mil heads. And then what we'll find is back in this far right corner, there's a tensioner um, for the air conditioning belt. So I'm gonna pull both of those panels off, this big one and the smaller black one above. And then I'll show you how we can get to this tensioner first, because this is the first belt that has to come off. Okay, so these three bolts will not come all the way out. They have a welded nut on the back. You only need to loosen them. And then this can pull out and to the side. Just let that sit like that. So now we have much better access in there to get to that tensioner. It's going to be much better to be able to get in there. And now you can actually get a better look at how how bad this fan belt really is. And you can spin the fan by hand. You know, there's virtually no tension on that at all. Okay. So this is the underside. This is the belt side we're talking about here, okay? Now, that's the tensioner we need to work on for the AC belt okay right there so basically the process here is we got to loosen the bolt in the center of that pulley and then once we do that we can use this bolt right here to loosen the tension on the belt. But it's just like any other, you know, manual tension around a vehicle or a machine, just a little tricky to get to it. So I'll show you how I got that bolt loosened on the pulley, a little tricky. I didn't think I could do it very well from underneath because we got this heavy piece of metal here in the way. So I'll show you what I did. Okay. So we're out here up above again and Deep down in there, you can see the same pulley that we're looking at from below. Um, let's see here. So the pulley we're looking at is all the way in there. That bolt there is one that needs to get removed. 
Uh, no, I'm sorry, not removed. Just need to loosen it a bit. So I tried to bring a wrench in there. The wrench wasn't having a very good grip. So what I ended up doing was 14 millimeter socket, long ratchet with a slight flex head. Maybe you can do it without the flex, I'm not sure. But uh, I also found for me, I'm right-handed, um, but I ended up doing this left-handed because if I snake my hand in this side, I seem to get pushed up against this fan and everything. It wasn't very ergonomic. Uh, so I was able to get this ratchet all the way in and on that bolt on that pulley. Okay. Now, like I said, you don't need to do a lot here. You just need to crack it open, maybe loosen it a turn or two so that we uh, are able now to loosen that tensioner from underneath. Okay, so with that loosened, uh, with the pulley loosened, we can actually go attack this bolt right here. This is what is going to actually reduce the tension on that belt. That's a 13 mil, and you want to turn it counterclockwise or to the left, like they say, and that will loosen tension on the belt. And you may have to push up. See how the belt, the bolt has fallen a bit here? You may have to push up on that to actually keep that tension loose. I'm going to pop that belt off. Now it's off. Okay? So that snakes up around the AC pulley, and then it also snakes around down this crank. Okay? That's all there is to it for that one. So basically, at this point, you can replace the belt, slide the old one off, slide the new one on if that's all you're doing, and then just retighten that tensioner. Um, in my case here, I'm going to continue by going to the upper tensioner for the alternator fan belt, and uh, we'll do that next. Okay, so the way this is going to work to get this tensioner off, or loosen rather, the ratchet right now is a 13 mil head socket, and it is on a top bolt that goes through the tensioner to the top ear of the alternator. Okay. So we want to loosen this just a bit. Down here is the lower ear of the alternator. Okay, that also has to be loosened just a bit because that way, when you turn the, when you uh, change the tensioner, it'll allow that alternator to move a little bit. So we're going to loosen the two bolts on the alternator that allow it to, to to tilt, and then we can go up here again. We can use this bolt, which is the tensioner bolt and that'll allow us to release the tension on this upper bolt. Okay, so that lower bolt on the alternator, I found to be a 14 mil, and this is the method I found that I could get at it with, 14 mil deep, regular straight uh, ratchet. This tensioner takes a 13, so I'm gonna use this bolt here that I showed you, Loosen that until I can pull that belt off, put the new belt on, retighten it, retighten the two alternator bolts uh, to tension, and I'll show you uh, what that should look like. Okay, so for that tensioner, unlike the one below, this tensioner, you want to go clockwise or to the right when you turn it, and that's going to bring the alternator closer, which is going to give us a chance to pop this belt off. So, now it's just a matter of snaking this belt around the fan so we can get her out. Okay. So, now you know everything you need to know. I'm going to show you the two belts that we found uh, for this. And uh, it's just a matter of reinstalling the belts in that order. And you should be back in business. No more overheating. Okay, so what we're looking at here, this is the larger belt for the uh, alternator and fan, 389-1590. This is the shorter belt for the air conditioning, 272-7881. Um, and the markings on the belts, all the markings, uh, exactly match the belts that came off uh, this unit. So, so now I can put those back on and uh, we should be done with the project finally. 
Okay, so let's talk about replacement belts. Um, I did my best to work with my local Napa stores uh, to get uh, the old belts cross-referenced. And, you know, their information showed that uh, the belts they sold me were going to be good. They weren't good. One was a little bit too big. Um, one was a little bit too small. The other one was a little bit too small. Um, so what I did is I ended up calling the local cat dealer with the serial number of the machine, and they got me the exact OEM belts. So here's hoping that uh, those will be good. Um, this is actually the second project that I've had where I've had issues trying to match up the belts. You'd think they'd be really simple. I mean, it should just be measurements, but um, I think there might be inconsistencies across manufacturers where Cat knows exactly what manufacturer is going to be the exact right size, maybe. I'm not sure, but like I said, it's the second time I've run into my two different jobs.